Welcome to Pattern Making Class. I'm Annette Julie, and today we're working on our Princess Seam Notch Collar Jacket. It has a two-piece sleeve and a lining. We finished our facing and interfacing lining pieces, and now we're working on our interconstruction for the body. So you have a back neck facing, which we'll be cutting out of interfacing and a front neck facing. You're going to cut that out of interfacing as well, right? Then the front of the jacket, you may also choose to cut this out of interfacing. This is an option besides the real fabric. So as an option, you can include cut to interfacing. That means you would have interfacing on the body of the garment as well as the facing. That's an option. The facing you need it because this is your lapel that turns back. This is an option for the front of your jacket, which I like quite often. Now you can use different kinds of interconstruction. Here's a nice weight. And this I would use for the collar, the front neck facing, the back neck facing, and perhaps the body of the garment hem and armhole area. This happens to be a product by Vylene. Freudenberg non-wovens. Would be nice for a mid-weight gabardine. Also too, this could be very nice for a drapey jacket. This is also an interfacing. This also irons in. Okay, there's two great options. This is a bit more drapey. So you could use this on the drapey parts like the body of the garment and the other one on the collars and lapel. So now we're going to work on our hem interfacing piece. And we're going to do this for our side front, our side back, and our center back. So here we have our side front, and here I have a piece of paper that I have a grain line already on it. And we're gonna start with this positioned right on the hemline. Okay, and you're gonna match it to the grain line underneath. You're gonna match the grain line, you're gonna match the hemline and then you're going to copy off your side seams and your princess seam. And I usually like to make this piece about two inches. So this is going to be our side, front, hem, interfacing only, right? You're not cutting self fabric, only you're interfacing. And this is going to be a cut two in that interfacing. You can either write it in red or underline it. This also includes seam allowance here, so you can certainly mark that. Up here at the top, there is no seam allowance. Okay, and you can also write top 
And here's the hem. There's our hem. And in production, we would keep this half inch in, uh, interfacing seam allowance on the sides. And if you were doing couture, you could go ahead and take off about 3 eighths of an inch, but still leave 1 eighth of an inch in there so it gets caught in the stitch line. You don't want your interfacing peeling up without being caught in the stitch line. Here's that stitch line. So there's our first piece. Here is our side back. We have our grain line and that hem line that I made there, I cut that nice and straight and I'm matching grain line and my hem line to that straight line down there at the bottom. That looks good. Let's go ahead and copy this off. And uh, like I was saying on the last piece, I like this to be about two inches. And we do not need to transfer notches. Make this two inches. There's the top. Here's the hem. Hem. And we have our um, seam allowance already here on the side. So you can mark that. And like I said, you can grade it down if you're doing couture, but production, we're going to leave that in there. And this is our um, side, back, hem, interfacing only, right? We're not cutting cell fabric here. And this is going to be our cut to interfacing and this is our jacket and for yourself you can write top and hem and or you can not if you don't need it Lots of people work without seam allowance. That might be more like a first pattern maker. But to include everything with seam allowance, that is more uh, towards a production pattern making system. Where you don't have to remake things over and over again. You're always working with seam allowance. So here's our center back. Here we have that cut line. We're gonna go ahead and line that up with the hem. We're going to copy our center back. Our princess seam. And go up for two inches. This is the top. Here's our hem. Remember up here there's no seam allowance. And down here there's the hem, there's no seam allowance. And this is our center, back, hem, interfacing only. No self fabric. Cut two of our interfacing.
And those are the three pieces that we need for our hem. And I showed you a couple of weights of interfacing I really like. And that looks really good. There's our three pieces. This is Annette Julie, and I'll see you in my next video.